Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal division with models. This is standard 5.3F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 23 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Mark, he's got $5.25 in quarters, he's going to spend his money on three sports drinks. Now there's a clue here, the sport drinks are the same amount for each, so we've got equal groups. Whenever see, we see words that lets us know we're dealing with equal groups, we're dealing with either multiplication or division, because those are really important for equal groups. So here's his money. They've got his $5.25 all split out in quarters here. And then we need to find the equation that could be used to find the amount of money that Mark spent for each. So how much money did he spend for each? Well, let's see if we can figure it out a few different ways. So let's, let's draw a strip diagram here. So we know how much money he has. Our total is $5.25. So... He's got three sports drinks. Each one is exactly the same. So it looks like this is a, a part, part, whole. So we have each of these unknown sports drinks. If you add them all together, you can get them to 525. Or another way we could solve this, we could say 525. We could divide that into three equal groups. So I'm thinking it's C, but let's see if that really works. Well, if I wanted to use the picture, they went ahead and gave me all of these quarters. Look, they gave us the three equal groups. Well, if you look at this as an array, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. And then I've got three rows down. So this is an array, a 3 by 7 array that lets me know that each of these rows is going to equal one of my sports strengths. So this is my sports strength 1, this is my sports strength 2, this is my sports strength 3. So let's just count. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 quarters. I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. I know that's a dollar. And then, let's see, 125, 50, 75. Counting by 25 is very important. So 175, and that does match, because take a look at this. This 525 divided by 3. We wanted to see, what does that equal? Equals 175. So that is looking a lot like C. Let me just show you how we can do this if we had no picture. How do we divide when we have no picture and we just have to do a decimal division? Well, first thing is we need to look, are there any decimals in the divisor? In this case, the answer is no, it's just three. If we have decimals in the divisor, we've got to do something to move the decimals to the left or to the right, just so we can get it to be a whole number. If we do that, we have to match it in the dividend, but we don't have to do that right now. So what we do is we move our decimal up onto our division bar into our quotient we line it up and then that's it everything else you just divide like normal just make sure that decimal stays where it is and pretend it's 3 into 525 so 3 goes into 5 once we're going to bring this 2 down remember we just do it one at a time 3 goes into 22 7 and it's going to go on the other side of that decimal is that decimal stays right where it is. It's locked into place right above the decimal in our dividend. And that's 21. And we're coming down here. This is going to be 15. And we know this is 5, not only because 3 goes into 15 five times, but also because we knew we had to end up with 175. So our answer here is going to be C. A at least gives you the right numbers, but you see we're multiplying with equal groups rather than dividing, so that's not going to be correct. And then B and C don't even use the right digits.